Good morning, guys. Um, third day of bulking. See the physique so far. This is like no flexing. Hopefully you guys don't see my wean, but this is like no flexing. It's flexing. Definitely gained some weight. Um, definitely look bigger. Uh, but, um, <clears throat> fuck. Um, let's finish eating. Cause I'm bulking. I'm getting, I'm trying to get 3000 calories a day, which is, it's hard, especially if you're doing that, eating healthy. No added sugars definitely limits a lot of what you could eat. Um, and my focus levels have been horrid lately and variable might be because I'm bulking and I'm stuffing myself and I'm eating so much. And uh, I hate bulking. I don't like it. It's probably the last bulk I'm ever going to go on because I just don't like it. I don't even think there are any benefits to it besides looking big. Um, so anyways, um, I just got back from the Patreon event, which was great. I really did like it. Uh, shout out to Nico for inviting me for that one. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a whole different story itself. Oh my, is my tongue purple? I just ate blueberry, so, um, and my lips, I don't know if you guys can see that. I have like that, like what's it called? Like lip chapping or like, fuck, man, I can't even think properly, I'm tired. Um, anyway, yeah, the, so the Patreon event was cool. So basically I got there at 11 o'clock or so um, and made conversation with this person in the line. Um, so first things, or first, first things first? No, the start was pretty good. Um, and the person I've made contact with was Swedish, so that's also really cool. I talked Swedish a bit with her. Um, after I got my ticket, they even asked me for my age. The thing said 18 plus, but in show identification. So I brought my passport, but they never prompted me for that. So I could have gotten some drinks if I wanted to, some alcoholic beverages, but I'm not into that stuff. But if like someone who like under age and did want to do something like that, probably could have done something but i didn't do that i i, I actually i actually didn't do it so um yeah uh i kind of wander a bit um because it's about an hour give or take until the event starts so i'm i'm procrastinating i'm stalling i i was gonna talk to some people i, I pussied out i think and i'm just stalling i'm walking around um admiring the place see how I admiring quotation marks because it was it was a massive place and it was a beautiful place but there's only so much you could admire and then you're just stalling but anyway so I got in the seat I sat down um this guy invites me to sit with him I'm like all right but so we sit um front row seats uh for the stage in the stage and we, we talk um he runs an agency which is cool, um, because Patreon event, most of these people are creators and UGC and influencers and stuff. So that's, it's, uh, kind of a breath of fresh air meeting a, a fellow business owner. Um, apparently he does consultation and cryptocurrency and some other stuff, I think. And then this other dude came and sat with us like five or 10 minutes later after we sat down. Um, and we talked for a bit until the live started. So uh, that was pretty interesting. And then, um, and not the, yeah, the, like the event or whatever. It was like Kid Fury, I think that's his name. He talked a bit and was the host. Um, and yeah, so that was really cool. Uh, the first talk, if I remember correctly. Also, I want to talk about ghrelin today, a hormone. Um, <laughs> super fucking random. But uh, I'm trying to make myself remember what I write down. So I just thought it just popped into my head right now. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, so the first speaker was, no, 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 it was a songwriter. So it was an artist. I forgot the song they sang, um, but it was an artist they sang. They, they were really good. Um, and then it was a guy who I think he worked or created XXL worked for created 
um, but he was like this guy in the music industry, um, like not like a rapper or like a songwriter, but like producer maybe, or like magazines, I think. Um, he talked for a bit and then the owner of Patreon, wait, let me think, uh, something might have happened and then the owner of Patreon, it's a bit of a blur, I'm not gonna lie, um, but it was something like that, I think the owner of Patreon spoke for like an hour or so, and then there might have been more singing, and then, I think it was lunchtime. I think. I think. I have to look at the itinerary, but it was something like that. So, anyways, fast forward to lunchtime. I'm talking with the guy who owned that agency account. And he's talking, he has some crazy beliefs, man. And some of the stuff I did not understand, I'm not going to lie. But he had some really unique perspectives. Um, and some of the stuff I agreed with. Um... But then again, like, it was, like, some crazy stuff I can't really fathom. Um, like, I think this guy, like, took 10 grams of LSD before showing up. And if you're watching this, um, I, I, I didn't give anyone my YouTube account, but if if you are watching this, I didn't mean that in any hate. I just mean that because your views and points and thoughts are very far from common belief. Um, and that's not a bad thing more so that's a good thing because you offer a different perspective and point of view which is interesting anyway so i talked with that guy for a bit um we ate i ate a burrito he ate quesadillas um and yeah so after a bit i yeah, what was it no it was back to um like meetings not meetings but like the the talks on the stage so the first one was like Ray Draws or something like that. It was like an artist, 30, Forbes 30 under 30 guy. Um, and then it was, all right. And then the guy I was talking to, he left at then he, he went to go home to take a nap. And, um, and he lives in Houston. Like he traveled all the way here for this. <laughs> so and he left like halfway. It's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> but uh, pardon me, burps. Um, yeah, so. Um, after lunch, lie, there was, like, the, the Ray Draws guy, at 430, four, <laughs> Forbes 30 under 30 guy, um, he talks, great guy, uh, and then at the end, there's, like, a little time where you talk to someone next to you, so I talked to this guy called Hugo, French guy, great guy, he, he has a really chisel job, um, and, yeah, I exchanged contact information after um and we just kind of talk about what our what our dreams are um so that was pretty cool so after we talk um it's the next one it's a 15 minute break and i'm not i had like no one to talk to during this 15 minutes so i admired the rest of the location and i got myself some water um and i might have gotten myself i think i got like some cheese cracker things um, they're homemade, uh, no sugar and stuff, um, so after I stalled a bit, I'm not gonna lie, um, there was another section of talking, um, and then it was a, who was it, hold up, give me a second, I'm gonna remember it, Oh, by the way, um, there was this guy, it's, I think his like, name was, like, Camu, Camu, something like that, um, great guy, really cool performance, I actually got a selfie with him, um, but, okay, I'm getting distracted, so the guy who spoke after Ray Talks, or Ray Draws, was, and there was also a comedian who spoke at the beginning, too, like, I forgot, her name starts with a C, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted. Who was the person? I remember. It was one of the guys from Try Guys. Or it, it, like a Try try group or whatever. Um, but it was one of those guys. So they talked. And... Oh, shoot. The camera just flipped. <laughs> um, okay. But anyway, so they talked. 
um, or one of the good who, who wore glasses talked. And um, yeah, so after him, because um, at the moment there's like two different stages going on. Um, and I was just attending to like the first stage, number one. And like that had like all these talks and everything. And this other stage was like Patreon, like questions and stuff, I think. So um, I decided to mix, mix it. Fuck. Mix it up a bit. So then on the third one, I went to the Patreon stage, the second stage. <clears throat> talked to some people. And I talked to this guy at the end. It's a bit hard making conversation with this guy. I'm not going to lie. Um, and uh, yeah, like at the end of like the Patreon section one, um, the slide kept freezing up whenever they tried to present it. It was pretty funny. Um, and yeah, so after I talked a bit with this guy, uh, it was pretty crazy. He He's had a Patreon thing for like 10 years. He doesn't do any paid advertising. He doesn't post organically YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. He only has a website and he doesn't even know how he gains traction on it. <laughs> I think that's pretty hilarious. Um, he doesn't really have like any channels for advertising. But anyway, so after that, um, it is the cocktail hour. Yeah, it's cocktail hour. So I can't drink. Um, so I'm just wandering around, admiring the place. <laughs> Trying to build up the courage to talk to some people. Um, and I do, and I'll get to that. So like the first bit, I'm just walking around trying to find people to talk to, um, and the first person I talked to is this girl, a woman, female, person on this table, um, by herself, so I went up, made conversation, bad conversation, <laughs> horrible conversation, it was, it was pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie, and then she said, um, I'm gonna go get some water, and then I never saw her again, <laughs> Uh, it was, it was, yeah, that was funny, um, especially because the water was, like, 10 feet away from us, so she's like, okay, I'm gonna go get some water, be right back, last time I saw her, so anyways, after that ordeal, I go talk to these people, like, next to me, and it's not, they're not, like, that enthusiastic in conversation either, um, so, I'm kind of just, like, there, like, chilling. I look at my phone, like, fucking hell, man. 30 minutes left until the next event. Ah, so, um, I leave them, and where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I, I admire the place some more. Um, and then I talk to, I, I, I see this other guy, um, on the on the same table where that girl said she's gonna go get some water and never came back um and this guy i talked to this guy was great i actually really like this guy high energy um he works for patreon on the product men no product marketing um and he's worked there for like the first five weeks i'm like leaking like everything about him um he lives in xx action i'm joking um but anyways yeah i talked to this guy he's a great guy um and yeah, I, I had a really good conversation with him. I think that was, like, one of the only people. No, not one of the only... Not, like, not the only people. I spoke to some pretty cool people. Um, But, yeah, I talked to him. Actually, no, no, prior to that, I talked to some other people. I talked to the guy who did the low performance, Camu, I think his name was. Um, And I took a selfie with him at the... Yeah, I took a selfie with him. I took with... And I talked with this um, hypno, hyp, hypnosis... That, it's not the profession name anyways i talked to this hypnosis person um pretty interesting i'm not gonna lie um yeah so <clears throat> then i talk with the product marketer on patreon cool guy he actually flew down to from new york to here for this event um so anyways uh we talk and then the event starts exchange contact Actually, we don't exchange contact. 
um, I take a photo of his shirt that has his name tag on, and um, I'm just gonna look him up on LinkedIn and add him. Um, so yeah, that's on that. Um, and then another, and then wait, no, after that is the comedy. Now, I like the comedy part. Um, so I'll sit in front row. So obviously you're gonna get some flame if you're sitting front row. Um, the comedians were hilarious. I really, I really did like them. One of them actually like, had a full conversation with me during their set. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, because I was, <clears throat> damn, I was like, I look too young for this. Most of these people are like in their twenties and thirties, and I'm seventeen, um, and it was it was hilarious. So yeah, after the comedians, um, we left. You know, the event ended, um, and I left. Uber picked me up. I'm at home, um, I did some work, procrastinated a bit, because I think it's because I'm bulking, and like, I'm a bit more distracted, um, but anyway, so, I said, I, uh, finished sending two emails, um, for the portal learning creative agency team, and then also, um, I watched a Mr. Beast video, it's like Beast Philanthropy or something like that. Um, I ate dinner and I also ate some blueberries and then here I am. Uh, after I finish this, I'm going to brush my teeth, get ready for bed, journal, push this video, sleep, because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, great day. Business side. Uh, actually, no, let me tell you guys about business before I start talking about science. So, um, business, we made maybe like 320 330 340 somewhere around that range in revenue profit probably like 50 dollars um when we're in learning phase like our cpa and facebook states this in their um like <clears throat> on their platform but uh cpas have been higher definitely um but we're still profitable yesterday like nowhere else profitable on friday but um Profitable, regardless. I actually checked the Shopify balance, and it's like nine hundred and thirteen dollars. I'm like, whoa, wow, that's pretty crazy. So, um, yeah, I mean that that's looking good, and um, yeah, man, it's a uh, good stuff. I I feel great, um, and uh, yeah, I mean I'm super excited, super grateful right now. Um, I want to get invited to more exclusive upper echelon events and also do some of this stuff like beast philanthropy does i think that's inspiring um like imagine you have like a hundred thousand like people in africa or in asia or wherever or america even you're like a hundred thousand people southern america and um like the amount of influence you had on their lives is phenomenal and then they'll pay back to you when they grow up so i mean positive roi for one but like second off like non-business terms like they're not gonna forget that like you saved them you helped them made their lives better um so yeah that's definitely what i want to be doing sometime in the future i kind of over my eyes on that right now but um before I end this video, let me tell you about Ghrelin. So, Ghrelin is a um, 28 pep or 28 amino acid um, polypeptide hormone, commonly referred to as the hunger hormone because it kind of regulates um, appetite and hunger. So, Ghrelin is made in the stomach. And then I believe it goes to the hypothalamus, like if we, uh, something like that. Like it triggers, it goes to the hypo, I believe it goes to the hypothalamus, triggers that your body, that you are hungry, um, something like that. And then you're, um, yeah, you, you get hungry. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a pretty like basic explanation on it. Just when you're hungry or you have, uh, yeah, you know, when you're hungry, you got have a high appetite. Your ghrelin levels, fuck, I can't speak. Your ghrelin levels are up, 
when you're not hungry, low appetite, ground levels are low. And it does relate to Lipton or something like that, the one that starts with an L. Um, and I'll maybe talk about that tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I remember from my research, um, sometimes drinking water can uh, decrease ghrelin levels. So if you're hungry, drink some water and you're less hungry. Um, like hydration plays a role in that. And if you're dehydrated, dehydrated, I think it was your higher likelihood of having higher ghrelin levels at the moment. So that's pretty interesting. Let me see if I say anything else that I remember. It was, it was a pretty interesting hormone. Um, yesterday I studied, was it vasopressin? I think it was. No, and no, it was estradiol. And then the day prior, I started studied vasopressin. So, estradiol. Um, I'll just talk about these really quickly. Estradiol is a form of estrogen. Um, the other two forms are, or estradiol is also referred to E two, I believe, and there's E one and E three, um, which are, I forgot. Like I, I know like if I look, see them, like I'll know them, um. But, like, that's not really my primary, like, what I was primarily studying. Um, but getting back to estradiol, it's a form of estrogen. So, what it does is that it, it regulates quite a few things. Um, uh, I, it had some relation cardiovascular system and the neuro, neurologic system. But its main thing is its effect on menopause. I believe, um, and it definitely does some stuff with that. Um, higher levels in men causes uh, what was it? Mm, forgot, but it it was it's probably like erectile dysfunction. Or too low levels causes erectile dysfunction. Dysfunction. So you want to have a balance, and that's like with almost everything. So it's like Twenty-two, almost. Every, so far, it's just twenty-two minute minute video. So I'll try to try and cut it a bit. Or I'm not going to edit this, but um, vasopressin also a hormone, and what it does. What the bro? It's been it's been only two days, three days. So I study vasopressin. I do remember that this chemical compound, because I drew out the molecular structure, and it was massive. It's it's like a lot of, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure ghrelin is bigger looking, um, but I mean, I I didn't draw out ghrelin, so yeah, um, but anyway, so vasopressin. What does vasopressin do? What does vasopressin? I have to check my notebook actually. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I like if someone's talking about vasopressin, like I'll understand. Um, I remember vasoconstriction is when the veins get smaller because the muscles around it short, like make it constrict. Vasoconstriction. Um, yeah, um, yeah. I think that will be it for today. People, the new ha haircut. Um. <laughs> mess in the back and I, I wore a hat all day so not the best like video but I did get a new haircut yeah and um yeah I'll see you guys later goodbye god bro I gotta stop kissing the camera